Well, this is a morning in Ladue, and this little patch of grass here near this stone is where I put my tent last night. And uh, that wall there is just one part of a wall that connects with this. There's a moat down there. And uh, basically it's a part of a huge chateau that um, was the home of the 17th century Bishop of Sant. I don't know if I can have a little look through the door. Uh, so I, uh, I put my tent up on a little patch of land outside the wall of the chateau. Because obviously there's no, no room at the chateau. I mean look, just hundreds and hundreds of rooms. That's the entrance way. And uh, there we go, this is the, it's a bit of renovation work going on I think at the moment. Right, there we go, that's the chateau. All the way around there, that's the main part of it down there, the main house. And some more outbuildings there. Don't know quite what they're, what they're doing with it, restoring parts of it. But uh, yeah. Huge, great residence. Uh, every single room empty. Uh, it looks like it was even part of an old moat system. It's definitely a little bridge over that. I don't know. Let's go and have a look at the uh, the um, information board. So there we go. I had the pleasure of camping outside the bishop's house, or the uh, the once bishop's house. Uh, let's see what it says here. Um, worth a visit, sure. Okay, it's the Romanesque church down the road. Le Due Chateau of the 17th century, residence of the bishops of Saint. To visit Chateau Garden. Uh, Okay, so there's a whole load of stuff there apparently worth visiting. Chateau, 17th century, so 1600s it was built. Wow. And we're near some, uh, a Roman aqueduct, 50 AD. Just a bit further down the road to my left. Um, So there we go, anyway, a huge great residence, but uh, no room in there last night for little old Spriggsy and OG Bear, oh no, no we had to make do with a, with a little tent down the, uh, the end of the outside wall, <laughs> it's ironic isn't it really, these huge mansions built for the men of God, uh, modern day pilgrim. Struggling to find somewhere to lay his head. Oh well, my tent was nice and cosy and warm. Sleeping bag hasn't let me down yet. And that Therma Rest roll mat was a brilliant investment. Really good. Really, really good. Makes all the difference. Having the, uh, the mat, a decent mat, that partly reflects body heat. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> Because you lose far more heat into the ground than you do by convection into the air. So by just lifting your sleeping bag up even just an inch and having a mat that actually reflects your body heat makes all the difference. Last night was a little bit nippy. One of the workmen over there actually, as he walked past me this morning, he said, Oh, c'est foi, c'est foi. I said, uh, said no, no, c'est bon. I uh, didn't really feel it. I could hear the wind blowing against the tent most of the night, but uh, no, I was tidy and warm and as it said on the notice board the the cafe is closed on a Tuesday and it's a Tuesday and it's closed so no no morning coffee there still only 13 kilometers to Sant so it should be okay
Bonjour, Ney. Hein.